Okay, well, it's 6 o'clock, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We'll start with our pledge, and if we we'll ask Commissioner Davis to do our invocation tonight, please. Okay. Just rolling jet up here. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Lord, we come to you tonight thanking you for all the many blessings you've given us. We ask, dear Lord, that as we go through this meeting that you give us the wisdom and the understanding to run our city the right way. We ask that you help us with these decisions, help guide us in our, in our, our faithfulness to the city. We ask that you be with us and all we say and do for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Man, this thing goes really fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just took off on me. Welcome everybody out tonight. Okay. First item is the approval of minutes. Make the motion to approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and seconding further discussion. Those in favor signify with aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item would be the bills. Make a motion to pay the bills. Second. We have a motion and second on the bills. Pay the bills. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. I want to add something under old business, and that's the Beaverton Boat Supply Bill for the final of the City Hall renovations. Oh, I'm sorry. It's on new business. I'm sorry. I got the wrong area, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, that's what was thrown in. We'll worry about that when we get down there to new business then. First item of new business then is to approve the first reading of the 2018 tax rate. You've got your paperwork in front of you. Our current rate's 0.265, uh, compensating is on here and then of course with the uh, regular increase there are re recommendations of a 0.261 which is still a, a drop in the rate and that would be a drop in the tax rate for the third year in a row where are you getting 265 I don't, oh, there at the bottom the have, they, have they revaluated enough property to make a 251 be a compensated mm -hmm. wow now the personal is set not by us right I mean, I know we we said it, but it's it's a formula to get to the personal, isn't that correct? That's what. So we don't we can't fluctuate it. It's beyond our. We just have to approve it. Well, I move we lower the tax rate for the third year in a row and set it at the zero point two six one. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. 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 Post same. Motion passes. That was easy enough. Okay, now the final payment for builder supply on the city hall. Uh, Larry, there's just two things I found on here that I don't think was covered. One of them was, and, and you, you, we, I think we can approve this once uh, even and let you work this the details out on it, but there was a uh, Windows, there was a mix up on the windows, and I've got that covered. But the windows are by the, there was going by the uh, both office doors to the mayor's office. They were deducted out, but there's been no credit okay. back for that. And then there was supposed to be, and this one may have been done, and Mike's not in, oh, Chris is in here, and, and Larry, you play on too. Did they put a new locking mechanism on the door coming into the police station? No, we actually took the lock out. Okay. That way it's open. In the well, that's, that's what I thought, but it was in one of the addendums that that was to be included in there, so we, there should be a credit for the. That locking mechanism. That's the only two items that I found that away. Now, as far as completion, of course, the completion date for the overall project was supposed to have been June 15th. And I believe they actually finished it on August 13th because that was our city commission date last month. Because I remember we were talking about it, they finished something that day. Had we known, we could have got it all, which is 59 days. And the contract called for the liquidated damages of $250 per day, so that'd be a total of 14750 in damages if we choose to. Now, at the same time, the Phase 1 completion date was supposed to have been March 15th. That's this out here, this room out here, and they were still working on the walls the week of, I know, that first week in August. Now, you're looking at about 151 days on that if you want to get that particular, which is 37750 I think that's personally a bit excessive because we did use the facility when we moved down here. Uh, things weren't done like they should have been. We should have had our 
temporary certificate of occupancy and done it right, but it just didn't work out. But there is the, the overall project was supposed to be done on June 15th. So what's your pleasure? How much do we still own? Because then we, we paid some, but we didn't pay them all. Yeah. Well, how much did we pay them last? Did we vote to pay them in May? I mean, in August. It says a balance it was on that one bill I got was twenty three thousand six fifty six, but I, was that before? We didn't have anything in the minutes last month. Okay, so we didn't we didn't pay any of it. Okay, that might have been the month before we just did. It. Okay, so it's twenty three thousand six fifty six ninety two. And without, we met, without, the two credits. without the two credits coming back. And do you know what the amount of the credits are? No, that's something they'll have to tell okay. us because it was what was ever part of their bid. They're not going to be a lot. I'm guessing the windows may be maybe 300 bucks. The lock may be as much. I don't know because I don't know how expensive those locks are. I know we had an awful trouble keeping one working. It never did work, really. Mm -hmm. So my guess, you're still talking about a total balance due of over of around twenty three thousand, plus or minus some change. <clears throat> so in this overall completion, you said it was August the thirteenth. That was the last day they did work in here. Was it in this room? I think they There's finished it. The it was a whole project, but, but but I think it was in. But it, one particular it area or not? Doesn't matter which area, gotcha. really, because the, the overall completion date was that date. Right, right. I understand. Because I don't think we need to go this route. No. Mm -mm. Not the 151 days thing. Yeah. yeah. That was a little excessive. Have they done work for us before, though, like this? I mean, they've never had me. How many days was it? 59. I was trying to remember our conversation. I think that was an idea. And what would that equal out to, or mm -hmm. what they said? I'm sorry? How much would that equal out to? It's that was the com completion date, contract completion date. That was actual. It's 59 days, so 254 days for the Maybe if you sunk them, I was like a 10. I was a 10. 10 times more. 10 days, right? 10 days? Like 10,000. 10,000. Okay. Okay, that'd be a break of what we had, though. What were you thinking? You know, if we, we can do that full amount, we can do a partial amount. But it did drag out because there was a lot of times when nothing was going on. Anymore. Yeah. Especially early on. I mean, I think we do it. Yeah, that's fine. We do it, yeah. We did it over here. Yeah. And we did it over here. Oh, yeah. And we did take a. We took some off of that one too, didn't we? I think so. Yeah, we didn't charge him as much as we could. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm glad he's doing that. That's wild. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Like you say, I don't think we can have not be one if we don't do the other. Mm. Larry, do you know how much we deducted from that one when we did that one? Do you remember? Oh, that, it was ten. I yeah. think it was ten even. Yeah. That's what we deducted. That's what we charged them. That was a liquidated damages on it. Yeah, so. Actually, actually, it was actually higher than that. <clears throat> so should we just make this one ten too? Is that a form of a motion? Do I? I was more than a nine. How much? Would, would it be nine thousand? No, huh? the damages would be nine thousand, right? Fourteen. 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 Yeah. Fourteen so seven. There's nine thousand difference between what we owe them and the damages. 
He was the oh, one. Oh, yeah, 23 one. and 14. Okay. So are you making that form of a motion? I, I was just asking a question. I mean, <laughs> but, no offense. I was just asking. No, I, I'm. And I agree. I think we ought to charge him something because if we don't, like you say, we're going to catch it over here from that one. And I don't blame him at all. If we charge him and we don't charge this one, we're going to be in trouble. I'm just trying to be where what's fair. I didn't. That's why I want to know how much. Because that, that was a local guy too, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That did this. We charged him. So seems like it was around 15 or 16, and we charged him 10, 10. which would have been about two thirds of what we could have. So that's what I was sort of thinking, because yeah. I was kind of. So you're so thinking nine instead of ten? Charge him nine instead of ten? Because wouldn't two thirds of that be about nine thousand? Nine eight thirty-three. Fourteen. I, I just took out. fourteen seven fifty and divided it by three. It comes to forty-nine seventeen. Times two. Yeah. I'd prefer to round one yeah. or the other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, make yeah. It round I don't, whichever way you want to go. But. So do you want to do the 10? I mean, that, that would be the fair. I mean, I'll make it in the motion if you think that's the, the right number. I mean, you got to just pick a number. I mean, it's either got to be 9 or 10, it's going to be one or the other. So. Well, yeah, there is a break on it because of the, from the 14, 7, 50. Yeah. And like I said, and, and this is nothing we haven't shared with, with the contractor. There was a lot of days nothing was done. Yeah. Because yeah, I was down there one day and it wouldn't do that darn thing. So as you say, round it one way or the other. So if it's 9,800, then how far should we round? Well, I, I, I said, I just threw 10 out there because they said that one was 10. So I make a motion we charge them the 10,000. Or... I, what would you call it? It's not a fine. Liquidated, liquidated damages liquidated is what it's liquidated called. Liquidated damages, 10000 I hate to do it, but it's only fair. Do we have a second? A second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Post same, motion passes. And again, I hate it because I don't know how you could not do it. Because mm -hmm. that was—I know that one too. And I just, I hated to do it then, but we had to do it. Mm -hmm. I just had forgotten how much it was. Visitor comments. We'll start. Nancy. Oh, do you want me to uh, do an update on Mike Hill? Let's come back to you. If you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Chris. Good. Oh, thank you. Place or fire. Place or fire. Yeah. Place or fire. Yeah. Place or fire. Yeah. Place or fire. Leva, you have anything? No. Okay. Destin? Good. All right. Keith? Yep. Everything's peaceful. Sandy? I think everything's been pretty peaceful, too. Of course. That is well, we're good. I talked to Larry about one little problem, and I think we're going to get that ironed out, so I'm good. Mm -hmm. Larry? I guess everybody knows some had phone calls on the water tire being cleaned and painted, and the water spraying on oh, the yeah. ocean right <coughs> Ridgecrest and, and uh, yeah. Second Street and East Ninth and Main. They're hoping to have a tank sandblasted and painted by the middle of this week, and hopefully the tank will be filling next week with a back to sample following at the, day, the day after, and then it'll back to normal hopefully Monday of next. Is that trying to keep the pressure up on what you're doing? Trying to keep the pressure down. We don't have the lines all over town like we had the last few times. So we know our water bill is going to be a whole lot higher next month from the county water district, but Better than we're, not paying, we're not paying overtime and still buying the water from the county, so. Well, it's good to know people do notice and well, question. Because my phone was blowing up, and I'm like, I'm on vacation. <laughs> Normally, I would have advised everybody, but they called me kind of short notice. and said, hey, we're in your area. You're on our schedule. So it happened really quick, and, and I failed to call. So I, I do apologize for the inconvenience. That's all I have. Okay. Okay, Nancy. Let's talk about planning and zoning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nancy and I have been talking a little bit about an, an a entity that's looking here in town right now on an issue trying to get it worked out. But she's brought it to our attention, and we've talked about it sometime at the couple of meetings I've been to with planning and zoning. I know Tara and I have discussed a little bit. Uh, Dean and I had. I haven't with George, obviously, since he's been in, but before that. It's been how long since our plan? And not, not the comprehensive but the plan and zoning has been in since and nothing has really been changed on it since that time. That's a long time. 
and there are a lot of things that have changed in society. If nothing else. I was Nancy and I were talking earlier, and I think Charles was in there. The big thing you go to the, a lot of these meetings and you stuff. They're all talking about getting back to mixed use, like the old downtowns used to be. Uh, and he said, "What's wrong with having a, a neighborhood grocery store, <laughs> like on the corner, like you know?" And that's the kind of stuff. But right now we couldn't do it here in a lot of places. Uh, Nancy has been talking with Grad about getting some help, and I'll let you tell a little more. You know more about it than I do, but. I can start out with uh, probably getting uh, the lady that I've been working with is uh, <coughs> Jennifer Marks, and she does the plant works with planting and zoning. Um, she has asked a plant over grad how much it would cost probably for us to get the things done that we need to get done. The ordinance is so outdated, and just like I was talking to you today about a case where a person wants to put a home, you might say, apartment behind his business, attached, whereas our ordinance says it has to be above, just like downtown. So the zoning is what's making a difference with that. And then on another section I can read, and it says you can have, you know, the owner can have a bit of an apartment. And he didn't say above. There's so I conflicting. Can go way. And that's not right. It should be more than where you can get it that way. So much of it is I have to make a decision or I have to tell you all that I'm going to do it a certain way. But if it were changed, we could take care of that quite a bit. Because uh, Brad would go over every chapter with me and we'd work it out and stuff. By law right now, we're behind on signage because we haven't been able to get that updated. That should have been done already. That would be the first thing that I would ask them to help me with. Um, then the comprehensive plan, it's time for that to be updated again, but it's so so far behind that the whole thing needs to be redone. So I asked him about the comprehensive plan, the ordinance, and rezoning and remapping the cities, Hartford and Rio cities. This is for both Hartford and Rio because Hartford also wanted this done. I uh, talked with AD and talked with Terry, and uh, they both seem to think that both cities are willing to to do this. Well, when I did finally get uh, Jennifer to tell me what her boss had thought that redoing every bit of it would cost would be between twenty and thirty thousand. So I had talked with uh, Paul today, and, and whenever I was going over a lot of it, I could see the comprehensive plan. It's for the whole county as well as both cities. I have to make sure that it gets updated. And all we've ever been able to do is pay about three thousand dollars. Each city paid fifteen or so just to get a revision, where they would change the maps. But we're beyond revisions, really yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. And this, the county, by the way, is required by statute to have this comprehensive plan, and, and we've and been paying also for it. As far as what, uh, what they need in the systems and how much they've improved, how much many more. Uh, businesses have opened and any kind of industry that's changed and any kind of road works that's changed, it has to be in there for the county. It's not just planning and zoning, but it's planning and zoning's responsibility to see that all of it's included. And I just read that in the mm -hmm. So what can, I was asking, why can't we get the county to pay for the comprehensive plan? They've never had to pay anything. I've just had to give them copies of it after we got it done. I don't know how to go about that, but my request was that I talk next week. I'll be at a CAM meeting that's a Kentucky uh, Association of uh, Mitigation Managers, what it is. And Jennifer will be there also, so we've decided that we'll spend our afternoons talking about this and seeing what can be done and what she feels like uh, we can go ahead and start on if, if you all approve things. So my question is, do you want me to see if she can help me do something to get the county to pay on it? How to request sure. it, what to ask for, uh, if they do it in a grant, to, you know, ask for some kind of grant help or something like that, because they do a lot of grants over there. I think that's would be the first thing to really try to push is to get the county to pay for the ordinance, go in for the comprehensive plan. Then that would cut our part way down if we just do the other. How much is the comprehensive plan and how much is this redoing our ordinances? That's, she just gave me the total amount. Total amount. That that's what she's going to meet with her about next week to try to get a kind so of a I handle. I don't know what portion they had allotted to the comprehensive plan. I'll find out yeah. before we go any farther. But, uh, that's what I wanted to know. Do you want me to try to, to do something like that? Oh, I don't I think there's any doubt. If we don't try, we'll yeah. never get it. Yeah. 
You, know, you need to try. And the place to start, obviously, would be with the judge. I don't know if anybody's ever requested that before. Well, I'll be honest with you. I didn't know the county was the one who was required to have it. Well, I, have to, I always give you all. You have to approve it. Right. The, the county update. has to take it after the city, you know, city's approved it. And uh, so they have to have a copy of it. It's, it's part of But I was always under the impression it was for the planning and zoning area, so which would be the city of Beaverdam and the city of Hartford. But when you're talking about it, it has to be for the whole county, that's a different... Yeah, all of the stats for the county is there as well. And, what, and all of the uh, future plans as to what you want to upgrade to, what your uh, areas you might be wanting to make into a green space, uh, you know, how much area you want to percentage up with this type of a project, uh, multi-family homes or industrial, or, you know, percentages uh, that they work up and, and help you with on the growth. So it is planning. But I don't know why they can't pay it. <laughs> It'd be easy, a lot easier on us. Well, at least a portion of it, since it is yeah, for the I mean, county's if I benefit. Part, if I can find out uh, if they pay part of it. But I'll just have you all tell me what you think there. Because that ordinance is, we'll go back to that, that's going to take a long time. But they do all the advertising and everything as well, for the zone changes and stuff, including in that cost. It would be the newspaper notices, the public hearings for every meetings. They would also handle that, and I'd work with them to get it set up for everybody to meet and get it in the papers. So that includes all that type of thing. And this would get some things covered that were actually kind of in there incorrectly now anyway, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like the downtown? Yeah, the downtown area would be one. You know, it needs to be a B1, it's a B3. A B1, you can be right beside each other. You don't have spaces that you have to be apart from another business or anything. And you can have your apartments upstairs. And it's it's a B3, which is more so with car lots and things like that. But it, it, nothing ever changed where it was put down to a B1, but it's absolutely a B1. It's not a B3. So you would figure out how much of a percentage you want as a B1. And then when you want to cut it off and go over to a B2 or a B3, uh, it's never, that's never been done that way. Our maps don't show it at all. Well, even some of the areas that have been annexed, has come, didn't it? if I'm not mistaken, did some of it, even though it's businesses, come in as residential because of the way the annexation was written up? When it was done, my understanding, because I did ask at one of these care, you know, one of these meetings I got to, uh, and they said mainly because they didn't really come in here. It's just like with the floodplain. They didn't really come in here at once. And I had gotten a lot of people to go to this meeting and tell them what they wanted. I had, I had the cities and I had the county. I notified them all that they were coming in. And they stood there and they said, well, yeah, we can see that because I had those cities and county and all like that mark off roads that were getting flooded, the different things like that. They didn't pay, they took all of that information. I worked like crazy on them. And then they didn't do any of it. You know this downtown right just stayed in. Oh, yeah, I know. It was definitely know. marked. Uh, so it didn't make any difference, even though you tried it. Well, all your new annexation has to come in as a R1. Then it's about to be rezoned. Yeah. Well, you know, well, but the issue of it is, if there's a, like when Wendy's, how can yeah. you bring it in as a uh -huh. You have to bring it in as a R1, then change it. Like taken care of, too, which would go in with that. Uh, you see that most all of that's reviewed. Uh, because it hasn't been. Mm -hmm. Now, the rezoning, you just have to figure out where you want it. They told me that what happened, it was just like the floodplain. If it was a creek or a tributary or it was uh, an elevation they knew was lower, they didn't come and look at it. They looked at maps and they marked them. In the map they said, like, they said, it's just like taking a marker, just like taking a marker that's going down that stream so far. They said, that's how we had to get started. So that's the way it was done. That's the way your zoning ended up. It's what was there. They went ahead and took it and when it jumped over to something else, they went ahead and marked it something else. But whenever it was business all along 231, they marked it all the same. So that's how it's all wrong that way because they, they didn't come here to do it. I can understand that. How could they do that? How could they do that? They're not going to come in, but it, it's out of out of date totally. But you, now you know why it did that. It was a majority. 
Well, I think if you go next week and get your information together, then we can go to the physical court and make a request. So as soon as you get all that done, then we can have a better, better plan to go forward. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. But I'll, I'll, you all want me to then talk with her about seeing about getting something Yeah. The yeah. Well, um, we don't ask, we'll never get it. So we need to make plans well, to do it. Well, the fiscal court, and I know some of them do, some of them don't realize that the residents of Beaverdam and Hartford pay county taxes every year. That's what I said. That's and what I get very me. little in return for it. The judge has been most helpful, and our magistrate's been helpful to us, and I'm sure Harvey would say the same thing about their magistrate. Well, that's what I'll do then. I'll be talking with her all next week. And do you want anything else brought up with her? Well, I'll look at her next week because at some point she and I are going to talk about dates to get both mayors, to get the, both attorneys, any of the boards that want to, and just have a meeting with her. So if you tell me now what you think you want other than what we're doing, then I'll have her research that, and when we do meet, she can give you answers on it. What else is there? I thought what we were looking at was pretty comprehensive all the way around with the... Right now, but I mean, as far as the ordinance and the zoning and the maps, because we'll go ahead and talk to her about that, mm -hmm. whether or not, you know. Well, that's so a good she's place to start, whole six things. What some of the I'm sorry, that's those three things are a pretty good way to start. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure her comments are going to pull more questions from us. Yeah. Yeah, but she just said what I asked you all now, and then she would be having time to look it up, maybe research some specific things. And I, I told her I would, but I didn't feel like you would want more than what we're doing. So I'll take anybody's suggestions. You know what you got in? <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I don't know what kind of questions do you ask her. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, this is something we've gone by this uh, ordinance we've had for this this long, and I know there are issues with it that need to be cleaned up, and we just want to jump in and clean them up. After you meet with her, we might have some questions then. Yeah. And after she, we meet with her, that's when I'm thinking mm -hmm. they're really going to come out. Yeah. Well, I thought you might have specifics as to wanting to know how they come up with their numbers, uh, what all they will do for their uh, numbers, such as the money. Uh, just think oh, well, that's an automatic. I thought you meant about the well, I mean specific ordinance that changes I itself. Think of. I wouldn't know how to maybe ask some of the questions about that, and you might tell me anything specific to ask for that. I mean, what you, um, I can do my best. I think we would need a breakout on what's the comprehensive plan, and then what is the, the maps, and then what is the ordinances. If, and I know it may not be exact, but... Give a general idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll do that. So we can plan accordingly and then. Yep. And any, nobody has any specific dates in mind, do they? She just said, well, somebody might say that they know when they can meet and when they can't. And I said, I'll find out. Well, are y'all going to be here ball break? <laughs> you know, you're going to be gone ball break. Sandy won't give up our ball break for some reason. Um, so I think you would not want to do it. She's going to go see the new baby. <laughs> Say so you wouldn't want to do it that week. Well, and again, sometime in October. You probably want to wait well, after the, the first week. Again. I'll Fall. be gone next week. See that meeting. So well, yeah, but we'll be gone too. Gone. It's gone. KLC's next week. Yeah. When you get in October, that's after the fall break of school. Anytime that second after the second second week later, because <laughs> I think fall break the first full week. Isn't mm -hmm. it? After that first the week of the week. 8th through the 12th, I think it's fall break. Yeah. I think the 22nd sounds real good. So, so you're saying... Throw it back till the 20th. When is fall break? You know, you don't want to stay out. The 8th. It starts the 8th. Monday the 8th. Yep. Monday the 8th through that week. So it's the second full week. Yeah. So you'll be back when? The 20th. It's so on Saturday. So if we wait the, the week of the 22nd, is that getting too far out? Uh, her it's calendar be open. Out. And her calendar yes. maybe yes. Yeah, maybe more open. Her calendar may be more open that no, week. None of it's too far out because also we'll go back and talk with her for yeah. well. So it's not too far. Yeah. My birthday's on the twenty fourth, so we could That's meet true. and celebrate. But it's a Wednesday, so we don't want to celebrate. Yours is on seventeenth, so yeah. <laughs> I'll be here though. Mine's a lot bigger number than yours. If you can get with Harper and see if we can set something up in sometime yeah. anytime after the twenty second. This one is okay, anything this after one's a space or all right. I can do that. You prefer day or night? She'll do it either. If we're supposed to be there, it'd have to be night no, need to be for me. Night. 
or late afternoon, something like that, five o'clock or so. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I get off work at four. Yeah, she said that she, she could do either one if she had plenty of time ahead. But if it's better for everyone else at five. a different time, that's... Try to get something around five or six, five? Five, five. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well, that's all I have. Now for closed session. Larry doesn't have anything for. Oh. Really? Yeah. Well, for finished. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. We're finished. That's quick. I make a motion that, that we adjourn. Second. How'd that go, Mary? That's good. <laughs> <laughs>